Welcome to Setting the Stage. I'm Brooke Savage. Next week, WKMG is hitting the road. We're taking our newscast live to Sanford. But before we get there, a local business will have a special visitor. Magpie's Modern General Store will have TV and film. Cheryl Hines there. Cheryl, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm so happy to be here. Thanks. So the first question I always ask is, how did you get into acting? Oh, um, you know, I was just born with that drive. E even when I was in middle school, I was in every play, every musical, and choir. And uh, I don't know, I was, just, I was just meant to do it. And then in high school and college, I was just, I always knew that's what I wanted to do. I definitely can relate to that. So tell us about your time in Central Florida. How long did you live here? What, was it just when you went to UCF? Did you live here a little bit longer? Tell us about that. Right, well, yes, I went to UCF. Mm -hmm. And I also worked at Universal Studios when it opened. <laughs> That's how old I am, but um, it was a big deal. Yeah, and it still is, of course. Mm -hmm. um, but it was really fun because after I graduated, I got an acting job at um, Universal. So when I went to the driver's, you know, to get my driver's license and they say occupation, I got to write actress and I was so proud of myself. Um, and then from there, I decided it was time for me to move to Los Angeles. So I was in Central Florida for probably, I don't know, maybe eight years or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of people talk about how Central Florida is great for having an acting career, especially with all the production companies and theme parks here, for sure. So how did a UCF play a role in your acting career? Well, I majored in communications in television production, and I minored in theater. So, and actually when I was here, when I was at UCF, I did an internship, a quick mm -hmm. internship at a news station. So um, it was great because I, I got to, we you know we had cameras and learned to edit and um, we were in each other's projects. So when I wasn't producing or directing, I was acting in someone else's project. So it was really fun and really great experience. That does sound like a lot of fun. Yeah, actually. it was. And how did you land your role on Curve Your, Enth your Enthusiasm? Uh, well. When I was in LA, I started um, studying at a theater called The Groundlings, and it's improv and sketch comedy. So when I was there, I you know I got an agent, which is not easy, and started auditioning for different things. And they were looking for an unknown actress to play Larry David's wife, and um, the the director. Um, Robert Whitey saw me in a sketch comedy show and called me in to meet Larry and to audition. And then mm -hmm. I found out that day I got the job, which is wow. very unusual. Is there a lot of improv on the show or is it mostly scripted? No, it's all improvised. Wow. So there's no script. It's, there's a, a short story outline. It's funny because when Curb first came out, I said to Larry, it's so interesting that the show is improvised. You should tell everybody. And he said, well, I don't want people to watch just because it's improvised. So they should watch because it's funny. And I said, well, they can do both. But, but he felt like uh, it was secondary that it's improvised. He just wanted people to watch for the show. But yeah, it's unusual. It's very unusual. That is incredible and very impressive. When you started on the show, did you imagine it would last 12 seasons. I had no idea. Because when I was first cast, it was just a one hour special. It was a one hour HBO special about Larry going back to doing stand up comedy. So um, after we shot the special and they had edited it together, um, people at HBO really liked it and the powers that be said, oh, this should be a series. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so I had no idea, you know, no idea how people would respond to it, if they would like it, if they would get it, because it's, you know, it's kind of quirky. <laughs> yes. 
People definitely seem to really love it. Honestly. Yeah. I was reading reviews about the show. People really love it. Yeah. And what was day? What was your day to day life like on set? Because I don't think a lot of people realize like just how much hard work goes into acting. Well, e I, w I would like to say you're right because it takes a lot of discipline to be an actor, even though it, it, it looks like it doesn't because if you're doing it right, hopefully it looks easy and it looks like you just rolled out of bed and you know drove to the set. But um, for Curb Your Enthusiasm, because it is improvised, well, I didn't have lines to memorize or anything like that, but I had to make sure, you know, every day you get there and you're really listening and you're sharp and, you know, in the moment. Um, and we would have a great time just sitting around. Um, you know, it was like going to summer camp with your best friends. <laughs> it was exactly. fun. Exactly. And are, were the hours long? Because I hear about that too a little bit, that the hours are long. Well, on Curb, they weren't that long, but on most sets they are long because um, usually when you're shooting something they light it to shoot one side and then you have to stop down turn all the lights to the other side so it takes a long time but on Curb Your Enthusiasm because it's improvised they light it so both people are recorded at the same time so you always have cameras on both sides um, so when you watch the show, you can see that the lighting isn't that nuanced. <laughs> it's sort of bright lighting to capture everything. Um, and we didn't have rehearsals because there was no script. So our, our hours weren't, weren't that bad on Curb. But there have been, I've been on plenty of things where the hours are long. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, I, love, I love to ask this and yeah. hear the responses. When people see you in public, is there a certain line people quote to you from the show? <laughs> um, sometimes they'll just, you know, they'll say, Larry, because I'm always saying Larry on the show. <laughs> but usually when they see me, they'll ask me, where's Larry? <laughs> <laughs> so, or they tell me that, oh, my husband's just like Larry, or I'm just like Larry. So the, the, those are the biggest things that I get. Do people, do some people actually think you were married to him? Yeah, I mean, especially at the beginning because my name on the show is Cheryl David. So, and because it was unknown, people didn't know my last name was Hines. Um, so they just assumed that I was married to Larry David That's funny. for a long time, <laughs> yeah. And so as a working actor, how much time do you get to spend with your own family? Yeah, you know, it depends on the project. Um, because when you're, when you're acting, you're like in it, in that project until the project is done, if it's a film or something. So you, you have, like you were saying, long hours finishing that project. And then when you're off, you're really off. So you get to spend all your time with your family. So it's, um, you know, it's a balance. Sometimes it's difficult, but uh, I like to think that I spend a lot of time with my family. So, like, for reference, you know, when you go home after filming for the day, is it like you go home to your family? Or is it like you're working on that project and you go home to wherever, and yeah. then you might see your family during the long stretches? Well, it really depends on the project. For me, working on Curb Your Enthusiasm was you know, it's shot in Los Angeles where I live. So, and because our hours weren't so crazy, I could see my daughter in the morning, go to work. Sometimes, you know, I'd have someone bring her to set so I could see her in on my lunch break and then finish shooting and come home and see her at night. But there are times when I'm on location and you might be on location for, I don't know, you know, a few weeks is when I shot RV, my daughter was very little, so I brought her with me. So I could see her when I was done shooting, but you know, now, um, now if I'm on location and it's far, like too far to come home for the weekends, I've shot it a lot in Atlanta, 
and that's a pretty big, <laughs> it's really hard to get from Atlanta to LA back to Atlanta before the weekend's over. So it just depends on where it's shooting. Okay, gotcha. So you mentioned your daughter. What does it mean to start a business with her? Hmm. Stand by. So my daughter's name is Katherine Young and she just turned 20 and I really wanted to start a company with her because of course I love her and I was dying to work with her. So we started a self-care company called Heinz and Young where we make high-end affordable luxury products like body creams and scented candles. Um, but at an affordable price and it really means a lot to me that I get to do this with her because I wanted to empower her as a young woman to know you can own a company, you could be CEO of a company um, and at the same time have fun with her. All of our products are, um, they're inspired by the beach, different beaches around the world. So that's been fun to figure out what the formula is going to be, what it's going to smell like, do we love it, what it's going to look like. And then as everything has developed, it's turned into a real family affair. So my sister works for the company, my brother works for the company, my nephew and niece sometimes <laughs> working for the company. So it's, it's just been really fun. And all of our products are made here in Florida. Wow, I yeah. love that. Yeah. How did that conversation get started with your daughter about starting a business? Well, she was getting ready to graduate from high school, and that was a sheer panic for me <laughs> because I was so, I wasn't ready for her to leave the house and not see her all the time or talk to her. So I started thinking, how can I, how can we be close? How can we have a close relationship as adults, you know? where we could do something, share something in common that would be fun to work on. So I just asked her if she wanted to start this company. And we both really are interested in doing away with single-use plastics. So that was another, that's another feature of our, our, of our line because it all comes in recyclable aluminum or glass. So we, we both shared that and we wanted that to be a big part of what we were creating. I love that. So you mentioned, we talked about acting, we talked about your business. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that your husband is running for pe president, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. What is that like to have your significant other running for president? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I mean, there are highs and lows. Um, but it's, it's fascinating and it's been really interesting traveling across the country and meeting people all over in different states and hearing from them and what they need and what they want and uh, it's inspiring that way. You know, I wouldn't see America this way otherwise. So, so that's fun and then, and Bobby is, she's just a natural born leader and he, I can, when I watch him, I can feel people gravitating towards him and listening and him listening to them. And it's just a really, you know, it's a once in a lifetime experience. But it's, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. I have to imagine <laughs> that like when you got mar married, that was not on your bucket no, list that, or anything, right? No, I, it, we were, I was just talking about this with my sister because I was thinking, we were both saying, who would have thought growing up in Tallahassee, Florida, that one day my husband would be running for president? Like we could, we did not see this coming, but it's, you know, it's fascinating. It's really interesting being on the inside of this political arena, watching watching it play out, mm -hmm. knowing, like watching all the behind the scenes. Yeah, there, it's uh, mm, emotional sometimes. <laughs> and um, yeah. 
<laughs> I have to imagine it has to be like stressful working that now into your agenda. All the millions of things you have to do. Yeah. Well, it's like you and I were talking about uh, right before we started. It's nice because I have my own career, this company with my family, and I, I'm a pretty independent person. Um, and he's, Bobby's a very independent person. So it's nice that we have our own um, careers and then they intersect and, you know, we give each other space and still really supporting it each other so it's it's fun that way have you ever thought of now that you're in this have you thought of the potential of being a first lady <laughs> <laughs> I get asked that question a lot um, well I mean I don't sit around and think about it too often um, but I guess anything can happen right exactly <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So this Sunday, you're going to be in Sanford to promote your new business with your daughter. Yeah. What made you choose Sanford? Well, this is my home away from home. My whole family lives in Central Florida, and our headquarters is in Central Florida here for Heinz & Young. So we thought it would be really fun to do a pop-up at Magpies. Um, it sort of feels like my hometown. You know, it's definitely my siblings' hometown. So. That was nice and I'm in town for the UCP gala so um, the UCP of Central Florida has a big gala every year and I host it with my friend Rachel Harris so we were gonna be in town and we we decided oh yeah let's bring our all the worlds together I love it two birds one stone yeah right, right? is there anything else you want to mention well this Sunday Sadly, is the very last episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's our it's our uh, series finale. I, w I keep wanting to say season, but no, it's the series finale is this Sunday at 10 o'clock on HBO. So, so at my house, you know, we'll go do magpies from one to four in Sanford for Heinz and Young and meet the community, and then we'll I'll go to my sisters, and then we'll all sit around in our pajamas and watch Curb Your Enthusiasm. Wow, and yeah. how does it feel that it's coming to an end? It's sad, it's so sad to me, but um, but also, I mean, we've been around for 25 years. <laughs> so I understand, you know, mm -hmm. all things come to an end, but uh, but it's been really fun, and I, I just love Larry and the cast and crew, so I'll, I'll miss that, but we're still, you know, we'll still see each other in real life. <laughs> Any future acting gigs on the horizon? Um, I don't know what's going to be next. We'll see. There are some things percolating, so we'll see. I love it. I'm excited to see, too. Yeah, thank you. Well, again, Cheryl will be at Magpie's Modern General Store <laughs> on Sunday in Sanford. Cheryl, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Brooke.